AM 1360 WMOB here in Mobile, Alabama. If you would, bow with us in a word of prayer as we are led by our beloved brother, Ella Terrence James. Heavenly Father and God over all the earth, we come in the name of your son, Jesus, this morning. And my God, we give thanks, praise, and honor unto our God who has made all things. And Lord, we come to you this day asking you for your mercy and your grace and your forgiveness. Lord, first of all, we ask you to forgive us our sins and cleanse of us of our unrighteousness and help us, Lord, to continually come to you that we may be blessed. And Lord, we pray for your people everywhere. Lord Jesus, help your people. My Lord and my God, open the ears of your people everywhere in the world that they may behold the Jesus Christ, your son. Amen. And believe on the gospel that is to save every man that will believe. Thank you, Lord Oh, my Jesus. Lord and my God, we need you this day. Have mercy upon us. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, God. continually watch over us. And Lord, all those that believe, those, Lord, that have a, a spark of faith in them, Lord Jesus, help them this, this help morning. Help them, Lord God. And watch the over them and Jesus protect Christ. them. Lord, keep them from the wolves that would come and try to snatch the faith of Jesus Christ out of their hearts. Yes, Lord My God. Lord and my God, have mercy upon your people this have morning. Have mercy, Lord God. Lord, we cannot make it without you. Can't Lord, it without Lord you, Jesus. we're lost forever more. Yes, But Lord my God. Lord, you have given us your grace through Jesus Christ, Thank your Son. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And we're thankful for that this Thank morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My Lord, help us to hold fast to the gospel yes, of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus. And not let it go. Yes, because Lord it is the God. power of God to save. We Lord just thank Jesus. you for all your good things this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we thank God for you again that are tuned in around the world. We thank God for coming to you live on this morning here in Mobile, Alabama. We are live here at the radio station, AM 1360 WMOB. The call-in number here is area code 251-432-1360. Again, that number is 251-432-1360. However, we're going to ask you, if you would, to hold off on your calls until, uh, Lord willing, the second half of the program. We'll open the phone lines up about the second half of the program. We do want to get a chance to go in the scriptures and do some teaching this morning. Also, uh, just a reminder, uh, the Saints up north, Lord willing, we're on our way up there. We'll be there in Seaford, Delaware, uh, with Ella Pitts and the Saints there at the Community Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that address is 26856 Lonesome Road there in Seaford, Delaware. Lord willing, we'll be there uh, this upcoming Friday, July 27th through the 29th. On that Friday night, July 27th, we'll have a couple of the younger ministers, the newer ministers in the ministry to speak on that Friday night. Brother Mike Belton uh, will be speaking along with uh, my son, Bracy Murray. He'll be speaking as well. On that Friday night, we like to give space for the newer brothers in the ministry to be able to exercise their gift on Friday nights during Fifth Weekend Fellowship. So those two brothers will minister on Friday night. On Saturday, Lord willing, we'll have a Q&A session, question and answering session at the church there in Delaware from 12 noon until 3 p.m. 12 noon to 3 p.m., you'll be able to come and ask your questions. And we're going to sit down and go through the scripture. My opinion, your opinion, your pastor's opinion. Nobody's opinion mean anything. Only thing that matters is what we can read. So, Lord willing, come on out. Q&A session, 12 noon to 3 there at the church. And uh, after that, on that night at 7 p.m., the regular service will begin. I will speak that Saturday night. Uh, service begin at 7 p.m. And we will, Lord willing, broadcast live. We will go live broadcasting, live streaming worldwide on that Saturday night. Ella Pitts will speak, Lord willing, on that Sunday. And again, we will stream that program live uh, as well on Sunday also. Saints, we thank God for all things. I, I, I can't say enough. I thank God for Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank God for the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Today, I, I want to take my time and do some teaching here. <clears throat> I want to talk about the mystery of godliness. The mystery of godliness. Now, <clears throat> I've, I've had several brothers, several, several saints that have said, even calling in on this program, have said, you know, Ella Murray, you, you teach the scriptures, you, you know the Bible, but uh, you just don't know the mystery. 
Say, you, you can't get the mystery. Say, you, you teach the scripture. One brother said, you know the Bible, but uh, you just don't know the mystery. Well, I want to deal with the mystery today. And I want to see, my God, indeed, who don't understand the mystery. Because there is a mystery that the apostles talked about in the scripture. But I am persuaded <clears throat> those who think they understand the mystery really don't quite understand. You don't really understand what this mystery here consists of. Now, we're going to spell the mystery out with scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And I want you to stay with me now. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And we're going to start reading at verse number 6. 1 Corinthians 2, 6. What did he say, brother? How be it we speak wisdom. How be it? The Bible said we speak what? We speak wisdom. How be it we speak wisdom? Among them that are perfect. Among them that are perfect. What did he say? Yet not the wisdom of this world. Bible said not the wisdom of this world. Nor of the princes of this world. Read it, brother. That come to naught. What did he say? But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. We speak the wisdom of God in a what? In a mystery. In a what? In a mystery. What did he say, brother? Even the hidden wisdom. Even the hidden wisdom. Which God ordained before the world unto our glory. There's a mystery that was God had it already ordained. Amen. And that mystery, it was ordained for us. Amen. Bible said it was ordained for our glory. Amen. Now, now, don't let this go over your head. There was a mystery that God had ordained to benefit us. Amen. That's what that is saying there. That hidden Read it again, brother. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. We speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom. Even the hidden wisdom. Which God ordained before the world unto our glory. Unto our glory. What did he say, brother? Which none of the princes of this world knew. Do, do y'all get this? Amen. You see, this mystery, the princes of the world, those that was in authority, they didn't know. Amen. What did he say, brother? Which none of the princes of this world knew. Which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it. Had they known this mystery. They would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Now, now stay with me now. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to show you the mystery if you continue to listen. This hidden mystery, it was hid. The princes of the world didn't even, they couldn't get it. Amen. They didn't know it. Amen. Bible said for had they known it. They wouldn't have crucified the Lord of glory. Amen. Because he was the mystery. Amen. Look, look, look here now. Jesus, the son of God, was the mystery. Amen. Now, now stay with me now. Second Timothy, brother, chapter 1, and start at verse 8. I want to show you the mystery. They tell me, Murray, you don't get the mystery. No, I'm telling you, y'all don't get the mystery. Y'all don't understand the mystery. Second Timothy, chapter 1. And at verse 8, 2 Timothy 1, 8 said, what? Be thou therefore ashamed, be, now, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony. Paul said, be not therefore ashamed of the testimony. Of our Lord. Of our Lord. Nor of me, his prisoner. Paul said, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God. Read it, read it brother. Who has saved us. Look, look now. The power of God who has saved us. Read it. And called us. And called us. With an holy calling. God saved us and he called us with the holy calling. Not according to our works. Not according to our works. But according to his own purpose and grace. Wait a minute. According to his own purpose and grace. Read it. Which was given us in Christ Jesus. Which was given us where? In Christ Jesus. When? Before the world began. Here's your mystery here, folks. Amen. Here's your mystery. Amen. God had purpose to save us through Christ Jesus even before the world began. Amen. That was a mystery there. He had, it, it was kept secret. Do you understand? Amen. Read that again, Terry, the last verse. What did he say? Who have saved us. Who have saved us. And called us. And called us. With an holy calling. With the holy calling. Not according to our works. 
Not according to our works. But according to his own purpose and grace. Read it, brother. Which was given us in Christ Jesus. Which was given us in Christ Jesus. Before the world began. Before the world even began. What did he say, Terry? But it's now made manifest. But now what was hid before the world began has now been made manifest. By the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ. There's your mystery right there, brothers. Amen. There's your mystery right there. Do you understand? God had a plan to send his son, Jesus Christ. This was the mystery that was hid even from the princes of the world. Bible said, had they known it, they wouldn't have crucified him. Amen. It was hid from them. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Romans 10, chapter 16, brother. And at verse 25. In all thy getting, get an understanding. Romans 16, 25 said what? Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel. What did he say, brother? And the preaching of Jesus Christ. And the preaching of who? Of Jesus Christ. The preaching of who? Of Jesus Christ. What did he say, Terry? According to the revelation of the mystery. Do, do you get it? Amen. <laughs> the preaching of who? Of Jesus Christ. And what is that? According to the revelation of the mystery. According to the revelation of the mystery. In other words, the mystery has been revealed. It's Jesus Christ. Amen. It's Jesus Christ. What did he say, Terry? Which was kept secret. Which was kept secret since the world began. <laughs> this mystery was kept secret since the world began. That God was going to send his son, Jesus Christ, to save mankind. Amen. Had they known it, they wouldn't have crucified him. But God kept it secret. It was Paul called it hidden wisdom. It was hid. He wanted to hold off. It was going to be revealed at a set time. Amen. Read that one more time, Romans 16, 26, brother. What did it say? Verse 25, what did he say? Now to him that is of power. Read it. To establish you according to my gospel. Read it, brother. And the preaching of Jesus Christ. And the preaching of Jesus Christ. According to the revelation of the mystery. According to the revealing or making known of the mystery. Which was kept secret. Which was kept secret. Since the world began. What did he say? But now is made manifest. Read it, brother. And by the scriptures of the prophets. And by the, look, it has now been made manifest. And by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. What did he say, Terry? To God only wise. L listen to this. To God only wise. Be glory. Be glory. How? Through, through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. God gets glory through Jesus Christ Amen. Amen. Do you get that? God gets glory through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said that's forever. Amen. That's for, so, so what is that saying? When you glorify, lift, exalt his son, Jesus Christ, God get glory. Amen. And that's forever. Amen. Do, do you get that? Read that again. I want to make sure they got it. What did he say, Terry? To God only wise. To God only. What is saying? To the only wise God. Amen. To the only wise God. What did he say, Terry? Be glory through Jesus Christ. He gets glory. The Bible said be glory through Jesus Christ. Amen. Through Jesus Christ. Amen. What did he say, Terry? Forever. Forever. Amen. Amen. That's what we say. God gets glory. Through his son, Jesus Christ, forever. And everybody might as well say what? Amen. Amen. <laughs> God gets glory through his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Saints of God, let's go back to what we can read. Now, y'all saying, I don't understand the mystery. Do you understand the mystery? Because when we preach the son of God, Jesus Christ, that is the mystery. That was, look, that was kept secret since the world began. Amen. That's the mystery. Yes, Give me Ephesians, Terry, chapter 3. 
And I want to start at verse, start at verse 1, brother. Ephesians chapter 3. And at verse 1, what did it say? For this cause I, Paul. For this cause I, Paul. The prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. If ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you. If you have heard of this dispensation of God's grace or the grace of God, Paul said, it was given to me, but it was given to me for you. Amen. What do you say, brother? How that by revelation. How that by revelation. He made known unto me the mystery. Get this now. Amen. Paul said, by revelation, by revealing, he made known unto me the mystery. The mystery, Paul said, has been made known unto me. Read it, brother. As I wrote a four in few words. Paul said, I done wrote a four in few words concerning this. What? Whereby when ye read. Whereby when you read. Ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Do, do you get that? Amen. Paul said, when you read. You got to understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. You see, Paul is saying, you know, this mystery has been revealed unto me. Now, y'all got to be able to understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Amen. What did he say, Terry? Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men. That's what we read in Corinth. In other ages, this mystery was not made known unto the sons of men. As it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. What is he talking about, Terry? What does it say next verse? That the Gentiles. That the Gentiles. Should be fellow heirs. Shall be fellow heirs. And of the same body. And of the same body. And partakers of his promise in Christ. Do, do, do you get it? The Gentiles are going to be partakers. They're going to be grafted in through Christ. Amen. Through Jesus Christ. He is the mystery. Amen. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the secret. It's the mystery that God have kept hidden until he saw forth, saw forth to reveal him. Amen. When Jesus was revealed, then salvation was being made known. Amen. Do you hear me talking? What did he say, Terry? That the Gentiles. That the Gentiles. Should be fellow heirs. Should be fellow heirs. And of the same body. And of the same body. And partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. In Christ. Everybody got to come the same way. Amen. It's through Christ. What did he say, Terry? Whereof I was made a minister. Paul said, this is the reason God made me a minister. This mystery was revealed unto me. Now I got to go out and preach this mystery. And that's what Paul preached, the mystery. Amen. When, my God, was it revealed unto Paul on the Damascus Road? Amen. When Paul was traveling on the Damascus Road, he was going to bind all of them that was calling on this Jesus. All in a sudden, he saw a light. My God, man, the Bible said, a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun. My God, Jesus was being made manifest unto Saul. He was being made known. My God, man, he says, Saul, Saul, why persecuteth thou me? The Son of God talking to him. Why are you persecuting me? Saul replied, who art thou, Lord? He said, I'm Jesus. Amen. I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus of Nazareth. I'm the one you're persecuting. It is hard for thee to kick against the bricks. Amen. My God, man, Paul asked the question, Lord, what would you have me to do? Go on where you're going. The Lord did not change his direction. The Lord changed his mind. Instead of going down now, binding all of them that's calling on Jesus, he went down preaching Jesus. Amen. Do you understand? The mystery has now been revealed unto him. Amen. Do you understand? Saints of God, when you're dealing with the mystery, you're dealing with the revelation of Jesus Christ that God would send to save the human family. Amen. That's the mystery that I read in the book. Amen. All this stuff that they're talking about, Mary, you read, the, you, you read the scripture, you know the Bible, but you don't get the mystery. No, you don't get the mystery. The mystery is Jesus Christ. And that mystery has now been made known. And we're able to see it clearly. Colossians, brother, 125. 
Colossians chapter 1 and at verse 25. Hallelujah to God. I thank God it's been revealed unto us now. And now we can be saved. Amen. Colossians 125 said what? Whereof I am made a minister. Verse 24, what did he say? Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you. What did he say, brother? And fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh. The afflictions of Christ in my flesh. What did he say? For his body's sake. What did he say? Which is the church. Read it, brother. Whereof I am made a minister. I am made, Paul said, a minister? According to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you. Read it, brother. To fulfill the word of God. What did he say? Even the mystery. Even the what? Even the mystery. Even the what? Even the mystery. Read it, brother. Which have been hid from ages. Which have been hid from ages? And from generations. And from generations? But now is made manifest to his saints. But now the saints can see it. Amen. What did he say, Terry? To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery. Among the Gentiles. What is it? What did he say, Terry? Which is Christ in you. Do, do you get it? Amen. Do, do you get it? What is the mystery, Terry? Which is Christ in you. What is the mystery, Terry? Which is Christ in you. Read it, brother. The hope of glory. The hope of glory is Jesus Christ in us. Amen. Jesus in us and we in Jesus. Amen. Our faith and confidence in this Jesus. Amen. That is the mystery. Our hope is in Jesus and not in ourselves. Amen. Not in ourselves. Amen. This is the mystery, saints. Amen. Trust in Jesus, not in yourself. Amen. Not in your organization, not in your pastor, yeah, not right. in your rules, not in your laws. Amen. Trust in Jesus Christ. Amen. That's the mystery. They say, I don't understand the mystery. My God, man, no, we clearly see the mystery. The mystery is the revelation. Of his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And I thank God for it, brother. I thank God for opening our understanding to this. It's clearly seen now. It's been made known. We are to hope in Jesus and in nothing or nobody else. Our hope got to be in him. First Timothy Terry, chapter 3. And at verse 16. First Timothy chapter 3 and at verse 16. And all thy getting, get an understanding. What did he say, brother? And without controversy. And without controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. Here we go. Great is the what? Mystery of godliness. Great is the mystery of godliness. What the next verse say? The father became the son. God was manifest in the flesh. Wait, wait a minute, Terry. No, the mystery is the father became the son. God was manifest in the flesh. That is not saying the Father became the Son. Amen. God was manifest. Manifest means made known. Amen. Shown Amen. through flesh. Amen. The works of God was made known through flesh. Amen. Who was the flesh? His Son. Amen. His Son demonstrated the works of His Father. Amen. This is the mystery. Do you understand? God was manifest. The Father was manifest. His works was made known through flesh, and that was his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. That scripture didn't say the Father became the Son. Y'all yeah. said that. Amen. Y'all said that. The Father was manifest, made known, revealed through, through flesh. Amen. Through flesh. The Father didn't become flesh. The Father was made known through flesh. Great is the mystery of godliness. What did, the, what, what did the Father do, brother? God was manifest in the flesh. God was manifest, made known in flesh or through flesh. What did he say? Justified in the spirit. This was God walking through his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. That's, what, that's what's going on here. Y'all got to read the scripture right. Read it, Terry. What did he say? Seen of angels. Seen of angels. Preached unto the Gentiles. Preached unto... Look, that was God working through his son. Amen. Manifest, made known, revealed through his son. Amen. The only way we would see the Father would be through and by the works of his son. When you saw the Son of God out working, 
he was working on behalf of his father. You remember he said, I do always those things that please the father. Amen. He was working on behalf of his father. He said, I didn't come to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. But don't take those scriptures and say the father became the son. Amen. No, sir, you cannot eliminate the son. Amen. When you say the father became the son, you're saying there's no more son. Father is whole title son, and that's a lie. That's right. if, you have, if you eliminate the son, you have eliminated salvation. Amen. Because salvation is in the son. Amen. You can't eliminate the son. Hallelujah to God. The Father have life. Amen. And the Father gave life to his Son. Amen. You can't come along and take away the life of the Son Amen. and leave the life of the Father. Amen. You cannot do that. Amen. Give me St. John 10, 5 and at verse 26. St. John chapter 5 and at verse 26. What did it say, brother? Fire as the Father. As the Father have life in himself. As the Father hath life, where? In himself. What did he do? So hath he given to the Son. To do what? To have life in himself. The Father have life in himself. And he gave to his Son to have life in himself. Amen. How are you going to come along and eliminate the life of the Son? And say, well, that was that's really the father holding title son. So you're eliminating son. When you eliminate son, you just eliminated salvation. Amen. Amen. Because the father put salvation in the son and said, if you want to be saved, trust in my son. Amen. It's a trick of the devil. Amen. That's what it is. Amen. As the father have what? As the father has life in himself. What did he say, brother? So has he given to the son to do what? To have life in himself. Read it, Terry. And have given him authority. And the Father have given the Son authority. To, Read it, Terry. To execute judgment to also. To execute judgment also. Because he is the Son of Man. Do you hear this? Amen. The Father gave the Son authority to execute judgment. Amen. Do y'all realize the one that you're saying don't exist is the one that's going to judge that's you? That's right. Now, now give that some thought. Amen. The one that y'all are saying don't exist is the one that you're going to stand before at the last day. Amen. Think about that now. Amen. You done denied him all your life, but at the end, you're going to stand before him. Amen. And you're going to have the opportunity to, uh, to look at to deny him Amen. and tell him he don't exist one-on-one. -on -one. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. The Bible said, read that again, Terry. And has give, for as the Father has life in himself. As the Father have life in himself. So has he given to the Son. To do what? To have life in himself. And what did he do, Terry? And has given him authority. And have given him authority. To execute judgment also. Read it, Terry. Because he is the Son of Man. Read it, Terry. Marvel not at this. Don't marvel at this. For the hour is coming. The hour is coming. Coming in the which all that are in the grave, all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. They gonna hear the son of man's voice. Amen. How they gonna hear a dead man's voice? Amen. That's right. Somebody that don't exist no more. Amen. Read it, Terry. And shall come forth. You gonna come forth after hearing the son of man's voice. What did he say, Terry? They that have done good. They that have done good. Unto the resurrection of life. Unto the resurrection of life. And they that have done evil. But those that have done evil. Unto the resurrection of damnation. All that is before the son of God, folk. All that is before the son of God. You gonna stand before the son of God at the end. And you gonna give an account for all the deeds done in your body. Somebody said, well, I thought the father was going to judge us. The father going to judge you through and by his son. Amen. That's how you're going to be judged. Amen. Give me Acts 17 and 30, brother. My God, y'all better wake up. You better wake up. 
Hear me talking now. Acts 17 and at verse 30 said what? And the times of this ignorance. And the times of this ignorance. God winked at. God winked at. But now commandeth all men everywhere. To do what? To repent. Read it, Terry. Because he hath appointed a day. God have appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness. He's going to judge the world in righteousness. How? By that man. Hallelujah to God. He's going to judge the world in righteousness by that man. Amen. By that man. Amen. By that man. Amen. What did he say, Terry? Whom he hath ordained. You know the man that he ordained. Read it, Terry. Whereof he hath given assurance unto all men. He hath gave assurance unto all men that he's going to judge the world by that man. How did he give that assurance? In that he hath raised him from the dead. He raised his son from the dead. Amen. And look, he going to judge the world in righteousness by that man. Amen. By that man. Amen. You know the man that y'all say don't exist no more. God going to judge the world in righteousness by that man. Amen. Now continue to deny him. Continue to deny him. But your day is coming. Amen. I am, look here, I am so, I, I have full assurance that your day is coming. Just keep on saying he don't exist. Say he's a puppet. Say he couldn't walk on water. Say he could raise Lazarus from the dead. Say all of that. Just go ahead and say all of that. But your day is coming. Your day is coming. Hear me talking now. Acts 10, brother. Round about verse 39. Let's get another witness here. Hallelujah to God. You're going to stand before this one right here. Acts 10, 39 said what? And we are witnesses of all things which he did. Peter said we're witnesses of all things that he have did. Both in the land of the Jews. And what? And in Jerusalem. Read it, Terry. Whom they slew and hanged on a tree. They slew this Jesus and hung him on a tree. Him God raised up the third day. Who raised him up? God raised him up the who, third who day. Who raised him up? God raised up the third day. What did he say, Terry? And showed him openly. Oh, say, okay, so God done raised him up and showing him openly. What did he say? Not to all the people. Not to everybody. But unto witnesses. What? Chosen before of God. Even? Even to us who did eat and drink with him. When? After he rose from the dead. Wait, wait a minute now. They ate and drank with him when? After he rose from the dead. They ate and drank with him when? After he rose from the dead. And what happened, Terry? And he commanded us. And he commanded us. To preach unto the people. To preach unto the people. And to testify. And testify. That it is he. It is who? It is he. It is who? It is he. That what? Which was ordained of God. That, that God did what? The ordained of God. To do what? To be the judge of quick and dead. So it is he. That God ordained Amen. to be the judge of the quick, meaning the living, Amen. and the dead. Amen. So how, why would I deny him? Why would I say he don't exist? You know what Jesus declared? You deny me before men. Give me Matthew 10, 30. Amen. 32. Your day is coming. Your day is coming. Hear me talking now. Matthew chapter 10. And at verse 32, what did he say, Terry? Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men. Jesus said, if you confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. If you are willing to confess me before men, I will confess you before my Father, which are in heaven. Amen. What did he say, Terry? But whosoever shall deny me before men. The him Bible said, but if you deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Let me tell you something. I don't want Jesus denying me. Right. Amen. I don't want him denying me. So therefore, I want the world to know where Elder Murray stands. I stand with the Son of God, Jesus Christ. He's my confidence. He's my hope. He's my all in all. I don't trust or have confidence in myself. My confidence, my hope, my trust is in the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you understand? I will not deny him. I don't care who I'm standing before. Amen. I will confess him from the White House to the doghouse. Jesus Christ is alive. Yes, he is. The Son of God is our salvation. Amen. We have many preachers, many brothers out there today. Who are denying him when they get amongst certain people, around a certain crowd, certain congregation, certain preacher. 
Some of you brothers are under preachers who deny him, so you won't confess him even if you believe him in, 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 in front of these type men. Amen. You are denying him. Right. Any time you won't confess Jesus, you are denying Jesus. Do you understand? I read in scripture. Give me, Matt, give me a John, brother, 12. I read in scripture there was some that was denying him. In the presence of people. St. John 12. The phone lines are open for anybody that wish to call in. 432-1360. Air code 251-432-1360. Give me St. John Terry, chapter 12. And start reading, Lord willing, around about verse uh, 42. St. John 12, 42. What did he say? Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Among the chief rulers also. Amongst the chief rulers also. Many believed on him. Many believed on him. But because of the Pharisees. But because of this certain group. Amen. But because of the Pharisees. What did he say, Terry? They did not confess him. You've got the same thing going on today. Amen. Because of a certain group. Because this group, this organization, this administration don't believe in the Son of God. I, I want to get along with them. I want to fellowship with them. So I'm going to go over and I just won't mention nothing about the Son of God. Let me tell you something. That's a waste of time. Amen. That's a waste of time. Amen. You can't have church without the head of the church. Amen. Jesus is the head of the church. Amen. And you cannot have church without the head of the church. Amen. The Bible said what? Terry, read that again, brother. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also. Amongst the chief rulers also. Many believed on him. Many believed on him. But because of the Pharisees. But because of the Pharisees. They did not confess him. They would not confess him. What did he say, Terry? Lest they should be put out of the synagogue. The Pharisees would put him out. Amen. Put him out of the synagogue if they confessed the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Amen. Read it, Terry. For they love the praise of men. They love the praise of man more than the praise of God. Amen. Same thing going on today. Amen. All right, caller. Go ahead, caller. You're on the air. Go ahead, caller. Can you hear me? I'm doing good, brother. How you doing? I, I agree with you, brother. The only mystery... In these scriptures here that I see, and based on what I hear and see going on, the mystery to me is I don't understand how they don't believe in the Son of God, Jesus Christ. That is the mystery. That is the mystery. And the, the more we preach this thing, the more and more I see that people that we thought was religious, that we thought trusted in God, now is being made manifest these folks are not trusting in God. Because if you trust in God, you're going to have your confidence in his son, Jesus Christ. Because that's where God put our salvation at. Do you understand? We thank God for you, brother. We appreciate you calling. All right, brother. God bless you. G give me Psalms 2.12, brother. Psalms chapter 2 and at verse 12. The phone lines are open for those that uh, wish to call. 432 1360, error code 251. Psalms chapter 2 and at verse 12. I agree. I agree with the caller there. The only mystery is I don't understand how you don't believe the scripture. How, how you don't understand and believe what you can read out of the Bible. That's the mystery. Do you understand? Psalms 212. What did the psalmist say? Kiss the son. Kiss the son. Lest he be angry. Kiss the son. The S-O-N. Amen. Kiss the son lest you be what? Lest he be angry. Lest he be angry. And ye perish from the way. And you perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little. What did he say, Terry? Blessed are all they. Blessed are all they. That put their trust in him. Blessed are all they. That put they trust in the Son of God, Amen. Jesus Christ. When you get the knowledge to know where your trust, where your confidence must be, that's in Jesus Christ, you're blessed. Do you understand? You're blessed. God knows you're blessed. Terry, give me Matthew chapter 1, brother. And start at verse 21. 
Matthew chapter 1 and at verse 21. Phone lines are open, those that wish to call in. Air code 251-432-1360. Matthew 121. What did it say, Terry? And she shall bring forth a son. She shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Read it, Terry. For he shall save his people from their sins. Now think about now. Now give this some thought. Mary going to bring forth a son, and his name got to be called Jesus. Because that's an inherited name. Couldn't call him anything. He couldn't be called jo Joseph Jr. That's right. Do you understand? Right. He had to be called Jesus because Jesus means to save, and he's inheriting that name from his father. Right. What did he say, Terry? Now all this was done. All this was done. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying. What did he say? Behold, a virgin shall be with child. A virgin shall be with child. And she shall bring forth a son. And what's going to happen? And they shall call his name Emmanuel. They're going to call that son's name Emmanuel. What is the interpretation of Emmanuel? Which being interpreted is. Is what? God with us. Now think about that. Somebody say, you see now, he became the father. That ain't what that's saying. Amen. The way the father would make himself known to us, the human family, would be through his son, Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. He's the manifestation of God with us. Do you understand? God worked through his son to reconcile the world back to God. Amen. To wit, God was in Christ. Amen. Reconciling the world back to God. Amen. Go ahead, Carla. You on the air. Yes, sir, Brother Murray. How you doing this morning? I'm good, brother. How you doing? I'm doing good, brother. You, 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 you like Radio Shack, you know. People got questions, you got answers. <laughs> Radio Shack got the right answer. <laughs> All right, brother. I want to correct something because you put me on blast last week. So when I said that Pastor Jesus had the spirit of Bishop Johnson on it, there wasn't nothing wrong with that. Bishop Johnson had the spirit of Christ in him. And the same spirit that dwelled in Bishop Johnson dwelled in Pastor Genesis, which is Christ. There's no difference than God putting the spirit of Moses and Joshua, which was the spirit of God, or Elijah and Elijah, or Paul and Timothy. So I still stand behind what I say. But I'm not saying that Pastor Genesis had the spirit of a man. Mr. Johnson truly had the spirit of Christ. Pastor Jennings had the spirit of Christ in him. So I wanted to straighten that out. But the other thing, you laughed at me when you hung up the phone last time I talked with you when I said that we were talking about the uh, who sent the apostles and prophets. And you said, and correct me if I'm wrong, you said the Son of God, Jesus Christ. That's correct, brother. Okay. So Jesus Christ said in the 14th chapter of John that he don't do nothing of himself but his Father that's in him. That's right. So is that also right? 100% correct, brother. Okay, so then who sent him? Did the Father send him that dwell with him like Christ said he did, or did the Son of God send him? The Son of God sent him. No, that ain't what the Bible said. Read John 14, 10, and see what Jesus said, who did the work, and who spoke. Okay, no problem. The Bible didn't say the Son of God did none of these. Jesus Christ, <laughs> the Son of God, said that his Father, his Father spoke with him and did the works that he did. Okay, no problem. Oh. Hey, hey, now, now okay, listen, no let me, problem let me, with that. Now, I got one other question I want to ask you, sir, if you don't mind. Okay, well, I'm going to try to deal with talk? everything you're Who's saying. Who's talking now? in Revelation 1 8? Say it one more time. Who's that speaking in Revelation 1 8? The Son of God. No, it was. Okay, so he's Alpha and Omega, the, the beginning and the ending, who is, who was, and who is to come, right? That is correct, bro. Okay, so if that's the Son of God, which the Bible say the Almighty God. You mm -hmm. tell me then in Exodus six two, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob also knew God as the Almighty God. Was that the Son of God that Abraham and Isaac and Jacob knew in Exodus six two? Is there two Almighty Gods? Because the God that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob served said he was the Almighty hey, God. Hey, and you saying that this one in Revelation is the Almighty God. Is there two Almighty Gods? Okay, answer that. Me, okay. Now, don't run to no let, Bible. Just answer that. Is there two Almighty Gods? Brother, according to Scripture, that's no, no, one okay. God no, no, the Father. I want your answer, brother, not Scripture. Wait, is what? there two Almighty Hold Gods? Hold it a minute. Hold it a minute, brother. Who brother. say he want my answer, not Scripture? You, brother, you're no, making no sense. No, no, no. no, no. Because, see, let I know me, your technique. Hold it, brother. Hold I know it your now. technique. You're grabbing Scripture. Let me answer so your you're question. You're not going to use the reverse psychology on me this time, brother. Listen, let me answer you. We're going to deal with one thing at a time. Oh, okay, now, so wait a minute. 
Wait a minute, can you, brother. Can you speak a little louder? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Okay. Speak up a little louder. Okay. Let me see if the DJ can turn me up. Now, can, now, turn, can, turn you up. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear okay. you now. So now, let me ask now, my question again. Wait, so I'm going to answer your question, question brother. Almighty God. Listen to me. It's, it's, look, I'm going to answer your question. Okay. It's one God well, the Father. Simple. Ain't no yes doubt about no. that. Yes or no? Is there two Almighty Gods? Yes or no? It's one God, brother. I'm answering your question. Listen to okay. me. So is it listen one to God, me. the Father, or is the one Lord God, the mercy. Son of God? Which okay, listen it? to me. Listen to me, brother. Uh, We're going to deal with one thing so, 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 at a time. Not so on an open fire today. Listen to me, brother. You, you in Revelation. Let's deal with Revelation first. You said that was the Son of God. Was this okay, God brother. Abraham's listen, you, 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 listen. Yes okay. No. Now I'm gonna answer your question, but if you're gonna keep interrupting, I'm gonna cut you off and answer your okay. question. Okay. Before you cut me off, then before you cut me off, can I say one last thing? Go right before ahead, you cut bro. Cut me off, cause I'm gonna let you talk, cause it's your show. But let me say one thing. Well, you I'm call to ask questions, questions, but you won't let me answer the question. Okay, so I have to cut y'all off. I'm gonna let you answer, but I got one last thing before you answer the question. Can I say one last thing before you answer the question? Say the last thing. Okay. According to Second Thessalonians 2.10, you know what your problem is? God, the devil didn't trick you. God gave you a strong delusion to make you believe a lie. That's why you don't understand the Bible and the mystery of godliness. God, the devil didn't do this to you, brother. God gave you the strong delusion according to Second Thessalonians 2.11. Okay. All okay, right. nope. to make you believe a lie. Okay. The and mystery. you're not believing those lies okay. you preaching, you on your way to hell. No right? problem. Now, you can... Answer all the questions you want to answer regarding the questions I just asked you. And I'll shut up my big mouth and listen to you. Twist the scriptures again. <laughs> no problem, brother. I appreciate your call. And, brother, let me tell you something. I would love for you to meet us in Delaware. I, I would love to sit you down, too, person to person, so I know you can't run and hang me up. Because that's what you radio people do. You hang them up when you get jammed. Well, but I love to get brother, you in front of the people. There's and nothing you have said, answer, my brother. That, oh my listen, 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 listen to me. There's Exodus nothing you have said God. that can you jam me. Revelation say that was the son of God. Go, go, ahead, go ahead and hang him up. Almighty. Go ahead and hang him up. Okay. Now let's deal with the scripture. Give me Revelation, brother. Chapter 1. And I want to start reading at verse, start at verse 7. Revelation chapter 1 and at verse 7. What did it say, Terry? Behold, he cometh with clouds. The Bible said he do what? He cometh with clouds. Give me Acts 1 and go back to verse 10 and then go to Revelation 1 7. Acts 1 10. My God, man, the cock is ticking and I want to try to get as much in as I can. Acts 1 10 said what? And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up. As he did what? As he went up. What happened, Terry? Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. And what did they say? Which also said, ye men of Galilee. What did he say? Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Up into where? Up into heaven. And what did he say? This same Jesus. The same Jesus. Which is taken up from you into heaven. Shall do what? Shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. All right, so he ascended out through the clouds. He went out, and the Bible going to teach. Give me Matthew 24 and 30 real fast, and then I'm going to go back to Revelation. I just want to certify who this scripture is talking about in Revelation. Matthew 24 and at verse 30, and then we go back to Revelation. What did it say? And then, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And what is going to happen? And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. Wait a minute. They're going to see who coming? The Son of Man. Coming how? Coming in the clouds of heaven. They're going to see who coming? The Son of Man. And how's he coming? Coming in the clouds of heaven. They're going to see who coming? The Son of Man. And how's he coming? Coming in the clouds of heaven. Give me Revelation 1 7. What did it say, Terry? Behold, he coming with clouds. <laughs> Is that him, brothers? Amen. He coming with clouds. And every eye shall see him. And every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. W wait a minute. Wait a minute. Amen. They wish they what? Pierced him. I want to know from the brother, have the father ever been pierced? Amen. Have the father ever been pierced? The Bible said they also did what? That pierced him. What's going to happen? And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. And what do you say, brother? Even so, amen. Even so, amen. You dealing with the one that's coming, the one that was pierced. Even so, amen. What did he say? I am Alpha. I am who? A alpha. I am who? Alpha. What does Alpha mean? The beginning. Amen. Alpha means the beginning. Amen. Give me Revelation 3.14. Give me Revelation 3.14. Let's see who is the beginning. Revelation 3.14 said what? And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write. Unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write. These things said the amen. Say it to who? The amen. Say it to who? The amen. Who is that? The faithful and true witness. What else is he? The beginning of the creation of God. The beginning of who? The creation of God. It's the beginning of what? Of the creation of God. And the Bible called him the Alpha and what? Omega. 
Go back to Revelation chapter 1, but pick up where you left off at. I am Alpha and Omega. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending. I'm the beginning and the ending. Said the Lord. Said who? Said the Lord. Said who? Said the Lord. Said who? Said the Lord. Paul on the Damascus road, the voice spake, and he said, Who art thou, Lord? He said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus. Amen. I'm Jesus of Nazareth. The Bible said, read again. I am the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Say who? Say the Lord. Which is? Which is? Which was? And which was? And? And which is to come? The Almighty. All of that is the Son of God, brother. Amen. All of that. Which is? He's, he's alive, present right now. Was? He was. Look, he was in the beginning with the Father. Amen. What was it? He was the Word of God. And which is to come? What did Paul say? Wait for His Son from heaven. Amen. All that is dealing with the Son of God, that brother. Amen. Do you understand? Somebody said, "Well, it said the Almighty." By all means, He's the Almighty. Yes, he Isaiah is. prophesied, "He shall be called the Mighty God." Amen. He's our Mighty God, Amen. brother. It's not hard to understand. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me show you how simple it is. You want to know whether this is the Son of God or not? Okay. Drop down a few verses in Revelation. Brother, it's all one letter. Drop down to verse 17, Terry. Now let's continue to read Revelation 1 17 and see who is this without controversy. What did he say? And when I saw him, John said, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, what did he say? Fear not. Don't be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth. I am he that liveth. And was dead. I'm he that liveth and what? And was dead. And what? Was dead. And what? Was dead. And what? Was dead. Have the father ever died? No, sir. I'm not the one that's blind, brother. I'm not the one that's blind. This is dealing with the Son of God. You're dealing with one letter here, brother. Go to Revelation 2.18 Spell it out plainly. Revelation 2.18 said what? And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira write. Unto the angel of the church in Thyatira write. These things said the Son of God. Said who? The Son of God. Said who? The Son of God. That's the same one that's talking in Revelation, bro. Ain't no different. It's one letter here. It's one. I'm not the one blind, brother. Do you understand? I'm not the one that's blind. And Johnson having the spirit of Christ, if Johnson truly had the spirit of Christ, he would not have renounced and denounced and condemned the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Do you hear me talking, brother? So yes, these brothers that you hear over radio and television sounding like them because they have studied them. They studied they tapes. They rehearsed Johnson tapes and they, they came out with that same false spirit that S.C. Johnson had. Amen. Do you, it's not the spirit of Christ. Amen. Do you understand? It is not the spirit of Christ. It's no way. The Spirit of Christ is going to deny the Son of God, no, Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ don't deny Christ. Amen. Do you understand? First, uh, uh, give me First Corinthians, brother, twelve and three. Amen. Christ don't deny Christ. Amen. So you said it right the first time. These brothers that you're talking about, they do have the Spirit of S.C. Johnson, but the problem is they need the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Amen. If they had the spirit of Jesus Christ, they would, my God, man, accept Jesus Christ. They would. Pre Preach Jesus Christ. They will promote Jesus Christ. They will trust in Jesus Christ and not condemn Jesus Christ. Amen. So yes, they got the spirit of Johnson, not the spirit of Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 12 and that first three, brother, what did it say? Wherefore I give you to understand. I give you to understand. That no man. No man. Speaking by the spirit of God. Speaking by the spirit of God. Calleth Jesus accursed. No man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a curse. And what? And that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord. And here's the problem. No man can say Jesus is the Lord. But by the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something. Johnson did a lot of good work in his day. I would give credit where it's due. But the man erred. Satan tricked him. And as a result... Through Johnson, all of you fellas are being tricked. 
You're being tricked. You're being seduced. You're being turned away from Jesus Christ. Amen. Who sent the apostles? The Son of God sent them. Amen. God worked through his son to send the apostles. Amen. God worked through his son. That's right. Give me John 20, 21. Amen. You got the right preacher here, brother. I, let me tell you something. Meet me in Delaware. I'll be there, brother. And let me tell you something. We'll have three hours of nothing but book. Do you understand? From 12 to 3, all of you up north, I'll be there. My God, man, St. John 20 and 21 said what? Then said Jesus to them again. Jesus said to them again. Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. As my father has sent me. Uh, hey, hey, brother, Jesus said, as my father has sent me. Even so. Send I you. Is Jesus lying? Not at all. Not at all. Is Jesus, Jesus telling the other uh, apostles, my father sent me and I'm sending y'all. Amen. What's the problem here? The problem is your hatred toward Jesus Christ. Amen. And you don't want to give him the honor and glory that his father gave him. Amen. That's the problem. You hate, you despise Jesus Christ because you love your father, the devil. Amen. Luke 6, 12, brother. You got the right preacher, brother. You got the right one. Hear me talking now. I'm not caught up in Johnson or none of them fellas. I'm caught up in Jesus Christ. I don't study Johnson tapes. I don't need his tapes. By God, man, Luke 6 and 12 said what? And it came to pass in those days. What did he say? That he went out into a mountain to pray. Jesus went out into a mountain to pray. And continued all night in prayer And continued all night in prayer to God. And when Jesus it, continued all night in prayer to God. And what did he say? And when it was day. When it was day. He called unto him his disciples. He he called unto him his disciples. And of them he chose twelve. And of them he did what? Chose twelve. How many did he choose? Twelve. How many did he choose? Twelve. How many did Jesus choose? Twelve. How many did the Son of God choose? Twelve. And what did he do with them? Whom also he named apostles. Wow. Believe what you can read. Amen. Let Johnson lay in the dust. Do you understand? I'm preaching the one that got out the grave. Johnson is still in the dust. And he's going to stay there until the one I'm preaching call him up. Amen. The problem is you don't want to honor the son. Give me John, brother, five. We got to get out of here. St. John 5, and at verse 23, run fast. I know we got to call a holy, but let me tell you something. My God, I want to answer the, the, the previous caller's questions here. St. John 5, start at verse 22, Terry. What did he say? Run fast. For the Father judges no man. But what have you done? Have committed all judgment unto the Son. That what? That all men should honor the Son. Do what? That all men should honor the Son. Do what? That all men should honor the Son. What about Connecticut? Eve, and all men should what, honor What about the Virginia? All men. Philadelphia? All men. Florida? All men. Should do what? Should honor the son. How? Even. How? Even. As what? As they honor the father. What if they don't? He that honoreth not the son. He that will not honor God's son. Honoreth not the father which is sent him. You of the father. You of your father the devil. That's the problem. You're of the devil. That's why you want to take glory from the son of God. But God gave him glory. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Do you understand? Go ahead, Carla. You on the air. You're just like a cockroach that's been sprayed with rain, but you dying, brother. You dying. I believe in the Son of God, but I believe in it the right way. Like I said, Second Thessalonians, the devil didn't trick you. God gave you a strong delusion that you believe a lie because you don't understand the scripture. Now, brother, the let me tell you something. You I'm persuaded God. I cannot help you, brothers. You okay. don't want scripture. You, you want a dead man. It, cut him just, off. You, cut him off. Cut him off. I cannot help you, brothers. Do you understand? You don't want scripture. You want a dead man. Do you understand? But I'm preaching the one that got out the grave. Do you understand? Okay. There is one first Timothy 2 5. My God, man, let me tell you something. There's one God. Amen. My God, we know we, we got a clear understanding of that. But the one God, the Father, got a son by the name of Jesus, and he is the Christ. Amen. First Timothy 2 5 said, What? For there is one God. How many gods is it? One God. How many gods is it? One God. What did he say, brother? And one mediator. And one. Your problem is the mediator. Amen. S.C. Johnson's problem was the mediator. That's right. All of you fellas up north who's caught up in Johnson, y'all's problem is the mediator. mediator. He's your stumbling block, your rock of a Offense. Right. The Bible said there's one God and what? And one mediator. And one mediator. Between God and me. Between God and man. Who is it? The man. Christ Jesus. That's your, look at it. That's who you're stumbling over right there. That man, Christ Jesus. Do you understand? And you know what Hebrew said? Hebrew said that man ever liveth. Amen. That man ever liveth. That man ever liveth. That man ever liveth. That man ever liveth to make intercession for us. 
Johnson is dead, but that man, he ever lived. Amen. I thank God. See, for Delaware, we're on our way. All you brothers up north, my God, man, from 12 to 3 on that Saturday, my God, man, it's me, y'all in the book. Come on, come let us reason together with the right spirit. It's me, y'all in the book. We'll be there. We will not be in a hurry. My God, we hope to see you. God bless you. Until next time.